to know that today is the day that you almost captured Captain Jack Sparrow. Around this time, about 18 years ago, Johnny Depp was one of Hollywood's most profitable stars thanks in part to the release of Pirates of the Caribbean. Over the course of a decade and a half, both he and that movie became even more profitable thanks to the spin-off blockbuster franchise spawned from the original Pirates release. Johnny Depp Net Worth – Pirates of the Caribbean's star earned nine digits from franchise Two decades later, Depp's star has fallen enough that his former fans created enough controversy around his Harry Potter series inclusion that he felt urged to resign from the franchise. What happened? According to Film Daily, Johnny Depp's net worth has taken a huge dip following a lawsuit battle between himself and ex Amber Heard. If that's truly the case, just how far has his net worth dipped and how it compared to his Pirates co stars? Well, Depp's net worth reportedly has taken a hit as his net worth was an extra $50 million or $200 million total some years prior to his lawsuit everyone would be remiss to think or say that he is down on his luck these days. $150 million is still a hefty sum that most actors could only dream of, especially given that Dab has been reported to pay $20 million per movie. And that does not even begin to account for his separate business endeavors such as owning his own movie production company called Infinitum Nihil. American actor John Depp is most famous from his role as Captain Jack Sparrow and the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. And with his success in bringing the character to life, Depp became one of the highest paid actors in the world. According to Celebrity Net Worth, Depp is currently worth around $150 million due to his success in many great films. His movies have grossed more than $3.4 billion in the United States alone and $8.7 billion worldwide. Depp was reportedly earning $48 million in 2016 from his acting career, putting him on the list of highest paid actors in the world as per Forbes. His overall career earnings came from roles in famous films such as Pirates of the Caribbean and the Fantastic Beasts series. For his role as Jack Sparrow in the Pirates series, he earned an estimated $300 million as per Business Insider. For the fourth installment Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides, Depp alone was paid $55 million, which was a major part of the film's total production cost of $410 million. Celebrity Net Worth also reported Depp earned $55 million for his role as a Mad Hatter in the live-action movie Alice in Wonderland. The actor also earned $16 million for his work in the third installment in the Fantastic Beasts series despite his limited screen time and only shooting one scene for the movie, as per Vanity Fair. Amid issues with ex-wife Amber Heard, Depp withdrew from the cast of the franchise at the request of Warner Brothers. In July 2020, Depp was broke after he lost $650 million and accrued a $100 million debt. The financial loss was allegedly caused by the actor's management company while the debt was from 17 years of unpaid taxes, Variety noted. Depp said financial mismanagement was the main cause of how he lost his money. Depp used much of his career earnings purchasing real estate, owning many multi-million homes in several parts of the world, including five neighboring homes in Hollywood Hills, with a combined worth of $19 million as per Love Property. He also has a Kentucky horse farm which is worth $950,000. According to Dulcie Mag, the actor also owns a house in the south of France, which he put up for sale for $55 million. John Depp's fans want him to reprise his roles as Jack Sparrow in the next Pirates of the Caribbean movie with Margot Robbie. According to The Hollywood Reporter, a new Pirates of the Caribbean movie is in the works with Robbie leading the project. Upon learning about the new film, fans took to Twitter to congratulate Robbie and share their sentiments on bringing Dap back into the franchise. Disney dropped Dap from the franchise following his ex-wife Amber Heard's allegations that he was abusive and violent. Earlier this year, an audio recording on Heard confessing that she hit Dap and started their fight leaked. Several shifted their support from the Aquaman star to the Fantastic Beasts actor. Very happy for Margot Robbie on landing the Pirates of the Caribbean movie. She's gonna kill it, Vincent Marcus a social media star and impressionist, 
wrote on Twitter. But can we agree that John Depp should still play Jack Sparrow because his lying ex-wife fabricated stories about being abused and also ruined his life? Several agreed with Marcus's tweet. Many other Twitter users want to see Depp back in the franchise. Others even said they won't watch the movie without Depp. The claim was based on a story in The Sun alleging that he had beaten his former wife Amber Heard after a three-week trial in a court last year in which both Mr. Depp and Ms. Heard gave evidence, Mr. Justice Nicole found that the allegations was true. The summary continued. The court and its judgment emphasized that an appeal against the decision of a trial judge on questions of disputed fact faced serious difficulties of its judgment and that none of the criticisms of the judge's reasonings or conclusion advanced on behalf of Mr. Depp had a real prospect of success. The court added that the 2020 trial was full and fair and a judge involved. Mr. Justice Nicole had given thorough reasons for his conclusions. After the court's ruling was made, a spokesperson for Heard said in a statement to Yahoo Entertainment, We are pleased but by no means surprised by the court's denial of Mr. Depp's application for appeal. The evidence presented in the UK case was overwhelming and undeniable. To reiterate, the regional verdicts was that Mr. Depp committed domestic violence against Amber on no fewer than 12 occasions and she was left in fear of her life. The verdict and lengthy well-reasoned judgment, including the confidential judgment, had been affirmed. Mr. Depp's claims of new and important evidence was nothing more than a press strategy and has been soundly rejected by the court. Thursday's ruling closes the door on the Pirates of the Caribbean actor's legal actions against the Sun newspaper for labeling him as a wife beater in 2018 article. Last week, Depp argued that the regional trial ruling should be overturned on the basis that Amber Heard's pledge to donate her $7 million divorce settlement to charity was a calculated and manipulative lie that subliminally influenced Justice Nicole. They back this assertion up with a new evidence they say shows the actress has donated a total of $550,000 to the ACLU and the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles since the couple's 2016 divorce. It was, they claimed, far removed from the $3.5 million the court was led to believe each organization would receive. In reply, Heard's legal team stated that she has done nothing dishonest with her donations to both charities and that she pledged to pay over 10 years, something they added was understood by the ACLU.